all right thanks for tuning in to this session in this session what we're going to be looking into is how to add and use keyframe for smooth transitions and as well know the rudiments of keyframing so you can achieve that awesome transition what actually brings about keyframe is just that you want to animate your movement of your video clips into the into the next video clips or you want to apply effects and you want it to animate that is the basic of using keyframe so i'm going to be explaining all the rudiments of keyframing in no video editing app or basically for any video editor app that uses keyframe so follow me along so you can understand how to use it so now as you can see we have these two clip right here let me play it and so you see as you can see there is a cut right here so we don't want this cut you can see the cut is kind of hard so we want something that is going like, to be looking softer so that is why we mostly use keyframe tool for transition and so many to add blurs and so many effects so i'm going to show you how to use it now so as you can see right here we have this first clip right here so we want to add first keyframe on this clip so i'm going to be showing you how, what does this keyframe actually mean and how it works so as you can see we have this transform property right here these are all the effects that uses keyframe as you can see this stopwatch right here these are keyframes tools you can use it to animate positions you can use it to animate your scale and as well your pivot position of your center point and as well your what your rotation so these are what these are the keyframes that you're going to be using if you want to add keyframe this is the tools you can add so i'm going to but before we add i'm going to be showing you why you have to add and how you have to add it so as you can see right here what this means is that when you bring your timeline towards this space and you add your first keyframe let, let me close this up so you don't get confused let me close all this up and use the first one which is the scale so let me try to explain the scale for you how to add keyframe for scale this actually applies to everything that you're going to be using keyframe for this same process actually applies to them as you can see when you move your timeline and you add your first keyframe right here and you move to the world let's say you move towards to the, before the cut as you can see right here and you had another keyframe which is this one right here as you can see when we play this up there's nothing happening the reason why there's nothing happening is because at every point in the timeline all the scales remain in the same parameters as you can see they are in one when you move all frames are what are on exact position of your scale so they, they are not going to be changing so this first keyframe means that you want your animation to start from this point right here then you want your animation to what to end either animation or you are applying effect is still the same thing maybe you want your effect to start from here and end towards this place so that is why you have to you start setting your parameter for the for the beginning and the end so let me let me show you as you can see as you can see this is on normal parameter right here so when i move towards this last one and i raise the scale the scale is basically the zoom so don't get confused whether it's motion type scale or transform scale is zoom you are using it to zoom effect you're using it to create a zoom effect as you can see when i raise this up when i raise this last keyframe i set up right here as you can see it's gonna zoom towards it's gonna zoom the clip right here as you can see it's right here right so what this means is that as you can see all this frame right here they remain the same but immediately i jump on this keyframe right here and start moving as you can see the first starts moving because i've set what i've set it to start from this first keyframe right here on rising is going to be what is going to be moving towards to the last point i see which is 1.81 so this is the rudiment that govern certain keyframe you have to have your starting point and what have your end point right here or as well you can have a midpoint whereby let me say i have i have midpoint right here and i drag this one and bring it back to its normal skills right here so this is just the basic rudiment so on the next clip that you want to add your keyframe on as well there are two rudiments there are two rules that govern it you can either reverse this action that you did that you tell this action to start from this starting point right here and end towards this point so you can either reverse it on the on the next clip so let me say i had first keyframe right here and i move towards point where i want the, the effect to stop when you bring it towards me it's gonna stop at this point but when you bring it towards me it's gonna stop at this point right here so when i had the second keyframe what this means is that as you can see there is nothing moving as we just performed as earlier so when i move this first one right here so when i drag this to about then just 1.84 or the reverse of the First one we did as you can see it's right here when this one start rising this one start was declining so as you can see that is how you they create some awesome transition that you mostly see so with the use of curve editor to give it more dynamic so this is how you can add keyframe for rotation your pivot center your position so let me undo this effect and let's use another as an example let me undo all of these effects i just did so now one of what we want to use the position as well 
you want to open it up and set where you want the effect to actually start whether it's the beginning of the clips or at the end of the or at the center of the clip so then i add the first keyframe and i move toward before the clip right got the cut right here and i had another one so what i'm telling this app is that i want the effect to start from here and end towards the cut before the cut so what i want to do is what let me say i drag this all the way up right here as you can see I drag the clip out of the world, out of the frame right here. So what this does is that it's gonna remain on the same bone. Getting to this point, it started moving out of the frame, and the next clip will come. So I, I can do the reverse on the world, on the on the next clip as well. Let me close all this. I'm, I'm bring my timeline towards the beginning of this video, beginning of the second clip, and add the first frame. I move to. So let me say this is the part I want it to end, and just add another one. And bring this one and click on this first one where I want the effect to start, and I drag this way down right here as you can see when we play this back this is how the effect will look as you can see the first clip will move out and the second clip will come in so you can use cover editor to just give it a nice ramp effect to create that smooth effect so this is how you can add keyframe to your clips you can either do it in reverse or you can either use it in any like my for rotation the same approach apply to it so what i want to show you next is that the closer this keyframe right here to the first keyframe the faster the what the faster the effect is gonna as you can see the faster the effect is gonna happen the closer it's let me use this second clip as well when i move this first effect closer to this one right here you're gonna see that it's gonna what it's gonna fast as you can see it's fast towards what it's fast out right there as you can see it's right here but when i move it towards to the beginning as you can see the effect is gonna what it's gonna happen slowly i see because it takes more time to reach the world because it takes more distance to cover before it reach towards the world towards the last keyframe you set so these are the rudiments to add keyframe to your clips to create awesome effects or transition so hope you guys gain value out of this if you did give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next topic peace out